Jamie, even as your fiance, I'm still too short for this, okay? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Jamie. I'm Shabba. And no, this video is not clickbait. No, it's not, it really happened. Do you want to say it? You say it. Okay, we both say it at the same time. Right? Okay, wait, three, two, two one. We're, we're engaged! engaged. Yay! Yay! So we're going to keep this bit super short. What you're going to see next is like the little bits that I've been filming because I've been planning this for months. And we got somebody to film the proposal as well. So yeah, cue proposal video. Enjoy and we'll see you after. So I guess this will be the first entry in the proposal vlogs if that's what I'm gonna call them. But essentially the plan is to propose to Shabba in September. I'm hoping to go for the 17th, it's a Sunday. I'm not gonna give away too many details. I want it to be a surprise for people watching just as it will be a surprise for Shabba, hopefully. I'm rubbish at keeping surprises. Yeah, so the first major thing that's happened is I have talked to her mum and her stepdad about the proposal I've asked for their blessing which I am beyond happy and excited about that they gave. It was something that was very important to both of us, particularly the kind of rocky road that we've had with our relationship in terms of family acceptance and stuff. It was it was very important. So that was a that was a massive step. It was very sweet. They both gave me a hug, welcomed me to the family. It was a very cute moment. <laughs> I could have cried. Fantastic, that's done. I need to do the same with her dad. I'm also in the process of sorting out the ring. I'm gonna get it designed at a local bespoke jewellers. I'm very excited. It's starting to feel very real. It was always kind of, it always felt quite hypothetical. It's happening in 2017 because 17 is Shabba's favourite number, which is why I'd like it to happen on the 17th of September as well. But it just feels so close. It's, that's, that's just over three months away. I thought I had a whole year and the whole year's just gone so quickly. But as soon as I talked to her mum and her stepdad, it suddenly became very real and I feel like I can get on with it. Yeah, it's all going good so far. I'll keep you updated. Bye. Guess what I just did. I picked up the ring. Oh. And I think I, th I think it is beautiful, okay? I hope Chava feels the same way. It's so real now that I have the ring. I'm not gonna show you guys because I want, apart from myself and the person that made it, I want Chava to be the first person that sees it. I have spoken to both sets of her parents and her families, they're all on board. They all know when it's happening, which is 17th September, Sunday. Got a friend to like pretend to invite us to a barbecue so that it throws Sharpa off. It's getting, it's getting close now, I'm nervous. We are now into the final countdown and I am getting really excited. I feel a bit bad because I did a terrible job at vlogging the whole thing. I made one video after I'd spoken to her mum and then I didn't make another video until I picked up the ring. So you missed that whole kind of in between bit. Basically all that happened is I finalised the plans which I'm not going to talk about in detail in this because you're going to see it for you guys in a minute but for me it's still five days away. I guess the only major thing that happened that I forgot to talk about was talking to her dad and asking for his blessing as well and he was incredibly sweet and lovely and I genuinely like teared up at his response. But yeah, oh she's calling me so I'll end it here but oh, wish me luck guys, bye! Oh. <laughs> you look so stupid in that dress. No, you don't. You look gorgeous. <sighs> I had to stop off here first because it's where we've been. Meeting you is the best thing that's ever happened to me. This is all so pretty. You would walk past here nearly every day on the way to college. Place you would say hello, best part of my day. You're always late for the hello, and you know better today. But you're always worth waiting for. I really don't want to cry. Of course.
just to share this on this list, it had to be the place we <laughs> listened to music together, hung out with friends, and the place I told you I was trans. It was. Do you know what's happening? Do you know why Jamie's being so cute? Can you believe we lived here together? <laughs> Can you though? <laughs> Being able to live with you in this room just confirmed that you're perfect for me. I knew it was a tricky time when you lived here, but you still have great memories from this time. The difficult times just show how far we've come. <gasps> oh! Little Paula! This place is on the list because of all the times you said happy hellos and sad goodbyes. That all the times we went places together. This is so poetic. And because you've been with me every step of my transition. This is our home. You, me, and little Polo, this is us. Wherever we go together in life, this flat will always have a place in my heart. So there you have it guys! That was how we got engaged. Yeah. I'm so happy. It was an amazing day. It was one of if the I can best say days that myself. of my life. It was. It I... was. Jamie did so well. Oh my gosh. Thank you. 
He really did amazing. Like, really beyond expectations. Did. Yeah, we just want to say a massive thank you to everybody out there who has supported us. Watched our journey. Watched our journey over us, the years. Yeah. And maybe even felt like you've been helped by, you know, what we've talked about. It really has meant a lot to us and we're so happy that we've been able to share this incredibly happy thing in our life that's happened. Um, With and, you! Yes, and we hope you enjoyed the video. There will also be a video, maybe slightly more artistic, <laughs> on Shaba's channel, which will probably be up at the same time. So right now I will put the go link to all out. of that stuff in the description box, so definitely go check that out. Thank you. And it's also been a while since we've done a Q&A together and we would love to do one post-engagement. Doesn't have to be specifically engagement or wedding or anything related questions. But, but just, if you have any questions yeah, whatsoever anything at all. about the engagement, about the day, about us, whatever, pop them below and we'll answer that in a future video. Yeah, we'll do a Q&A video for you guys soon. I just want to say as well, a massive shout out. Thank you so much to our friend Tanya who has just been amazing and made this super duper special. And to all of my family who, I was gonna say, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not spoiling it, am I? But no, you've already seen it. <laughs> to all of my amazing family who have come together. And of course, to this beautiful man here, because I have tried and failed many a time to get my families in one place, something that means a lot to me, and you've just done it single-handedly in the most amazing way. I a lot you. of the thanks goes to them. It does, it does, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Thank you to them and thank you to you. Thank you, Mum, thank you, Dad, thank you, Lindsay, thank you, Narani, thank you, girls, you are just all beautiful, wonderful members. Thank you, Christine and Malcolm, and thank you, Gordon and Amy. I mean, you're just, you've really made it thank special. Thank you to everybody. Don't All of our family. And thank you, Ben, the dog. Yeah, Ben, the dog. He was there too. Anyway, yes, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye! Bye!